Greetings! Welcome to the devlog for hot dogs, horseshoes, and hand grenades. We're gonna start off as always with a quick sound check. Make sure speakers aren't up too high. <laughs> Wonderful. So what have we got for you this week? Well, this week is a big old patch build. Uh, as I think I had mentioned last week, there had been a whole bunch of things over the meat miss season that I implemented very quickly. And in certain cases, things were broken. In certain cases, there were just details that I had missed, as is normally the case when you're dealing with this much material and a community full of so many folks who are experts. On it, so I figured I would uh, just show visually a few of the things that were uh, were fixed this week, and uh, talk about a few of the things that I'm still working on. So, uh, from our Meat Miss month, the uh, the M76 here now correctly has a uh, bolt hold open on the last round. Wonderful. The real weapon. The bolt should drop when I remove this magazine, but I don't have the code in there yet, so that is still something that needs to be added. But that will be going in, but I wanted to make sure for this first patch build, I wasn't doing code changes uh, that could theoretically break mods that uh, the code patch certain categories. So just be aware, whoever, whoever posted that bug report, I got to half of it. Um, Another one is that our mare's leg uh, here that like doesn't actually have functional sights uh, was missing a, uh, a scope mount, although it's a little tricky to get on. Go There we go. Beautiful. So you now can actually put the uh, Model 8 style scope on here, makes it significantly more functional to use than just kind of winging it with the irons. The, uh, the laser pistol has gotten a fix. It, uh, the, uh, let's actually, you know what? Be fun to have a, a bug in a devlog, as we usually do, but you should, asterisk, be able to... Oh, come on, for real? It's still broken? I checked... <sighs> oh, I'm gonna have to figure that out. That is super weird why that is not... Magical space-time laser pistol blast it all i wonder if i just like i fixed it and then actually didn't hit the apply prefab button i'm such a dummy we'll get that fixed before release uh the spas 15 you may have noticed that the sort of pump mode which for this we click up on the touchpad um or i believe it's yeah it's by and streamlined and we can cycle it in pump mode. This had had a bug where once the hammer was cocked, you could continue to cycle it. So if your arm swing are running, you're basically constantly uh, cocking uh, and ejecting shells from the gun. That is no longer the case. Uh, I can move this around and not accidentally do that. Wonderful. You'll notice uh, some fo fo folks basically ask, like, this behaves quite differently than the Spas 12's pump mode. And that's because this is running on a completely different code kernel. The Spas 12 is a tube-fed shotgun, and the way that it inter- it, because that class is both a tube-fed and a semi-auto shotgun, I did horrible hacks, like back in like 2017 maybe, uh, to make that work, and whereas this is a completely novel implementation of this, it still needs some tuning, I still need to take better into account the relative position of your hand uh, when you go to pump it, but that's just the nature of when you re-implement something uh, like I have for this, you get the fundamentals in, and then there's all the little tuned things that are present in the other class as a weapon that took years to, uh, to get in there that I have not yet gotten to. But we'll get there. I hope you've been enjoying the uh, the Spas 15s as much as I have. And oops, <laughs> as it. Oh, by the way, the, speaking speaking of bugs, this is the nature of. The, if you've ever wondered the way that uh, physics rigid bodies in something like Unity, as I go knocking everything around, uh, function in terms of how they determine things like center of mass, is that they treat every single collider uh, as being basically equivalent density. And so you would think, looking at this gun, that this would want to tip this way, especially because in real life there'd be way more. This would be a front 
heavy gun, but it doesn't, so it does this really hilarious thing. Oh, it didn't do it that time. Making a liar of me. Where basically every time I start the scene, it does that. But it didn't do it that time because, of course, I pointed it out. And that's the nature of game development. So yeah, so these are now, uh, we actually have visible triggers on all the Evos. The, uh, the sort of mesh orientation got messed up on that. Uh, I believe we should now have, um, okay, the folding stock isn't on this one. But on the ones that have folding stock, there should now be uh, sound on them. I just absolutely adore this set. Uh, it, uh, yeah. Fun stuff, fun stuff. So yeah, most of the other bug fixes are going to be in the change log. A lot of it is non-visible stuff. A lot of it is just like the stuff that was either misclicks or oversights. Not super sexy, but I have to get through all of this before I can start returning to the uh, the fun stuff, or I'm just going to put it off and it all it'll still be broken months from now. Ha <laughs> ha! Ninja Edit went back in after filming this for the first time and. Haha, <laughs> not broken anymore. Just be aware, this is obviously, this is a rail on an animated component. So if you put like 15 things on this and then crack this open and shut, don't expect your frame rate to be smooth. There's nothing I can do about this. This is, yeah, not recommended uh, from a Unity physics performance standpoint. Um, but if you just want to pop, you know, an optic on there for your laser hijinks, Oh, that is so much fun. Let's, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I'll never get tired of that. There you go. So, on to something super important. It is time for us to announce the winners of uh, this year's SoSig t-shirt contest design contest for Meat Miss, the winners of which are going to be adapted and put into the game Sosig clothing. So let's get right into it. Let's look at our first category. This is most fashionable. So for each of these categories, I'm going to show you two runners up that were close and then our winner. So our first runner up for most fashionable was this design by Jokey Boy. <laughs> give me hot dogs or give me death. Perhaps fashionable is a little bit of a stretch, but th th this in many ways was the category that was as much just about the design, the image as a whole. And I love the comp uh, the, uh, the the composition. Uh, it definitely made me go, hmm, I should get some revolutionary war sosigs in here. Looking great, fun design, great stuff, Jokey Boy. Our second place for... Most fashionable is this design by HD Banana. I relish the day. Punchy, clean graphic. I can imagine this on a shirt. Uh, and that was definitely part of what was going through my thinking with, with looking at designs for this category. It's like, could I actually imagine this on a t-shirt in a world not populated by hot dogs? Nice work. Nice work, HD Banana. And now, finally, for the winner of the most fashionable category is Danger Dogs by Doge Plays YT. YouTube, I assume. Just, I, I, this, this is such a charming design. I noticed it immediately. I was like, you know what? I, I want an actual, uh, an actual t shirt with this on this, truth be told. So beautiful design. Make sure, uh, Doge Plays YouTube, that you send me a nice high-res flat version of this, uh, preferably with the uh, the background as a solid color or masked out, uh, or even better yet, as a layered PSD, and we will get this onto a SoSig. On to our next category. Let's do best pun wienership next. Oh, that th this one was hard. I could definitely tell that a whole bunch of you were 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 straining your brain meats to uh, to come up with the uh, the cleverest text for this. So so this one this one was I I I brought in several other people to uh, to be like, all right, I need you to look at all the entries here and give me your rankings, and I'll try to I'll try to fuse the decision 
for this one. So in third place, uh, runner up, we have from looking at my spreadsheet here, Sky is shy, bad for health, good for mastication. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? Nicely done. Punchy design. Text is a little crowded, but uh, but good stuff. Good pun wienership. In second place. <laughs> can't believe this. <laughs> oh my goodness. From 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 Jeopardy, we have please don't poop on me. Uh -huh. Yeah. Nice. Nicely done, Jeopardy. And then finally, our winner that uh, will need a, a little bit of, of cleanup. This was posted with, uh, please, please don't mind uh, my poor image editing skills. But it was about, it was about the pun and the concept for this category, uh, which is why this one just absolutely jumped out by Lazy Fish. We have Stone Age, Bronze Age, So Sage. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. This absolutely has to be a. I I th I can totally imagine a Sosig wearing this shirt. Needs to be in the game, and uh, we'll make that happen. Congratulations, Lazy Fish, for So Sage. Too many browser tabs open. Media entry. In third place, we have by one solid snake one. This. I don't know if this is supposed to be a design on an undershirt or if the undershirt actually is just bacon up here, which I mean, that's what an undershirt was clearly missing. You know, you put your undershirt on your guts hanging out beneath it and you just, you got some strap bacon that you can just ugh, pull up and take a nibble on. And, uh, you got your breakfast, just honestly a pretty tasty looking breakfast, just right there on the shirt. Uh, <laughs> Just, I love the weird vibes that this design is putting off. Well done. One solid snake one. Uh, great stuff. In, uh, <laughs> so for, 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 uh, for the second runner up, I picked this just for sheer gumption, uh, from lazy fish who just, the shirt is just a picture of bacon, which I'm like, if you're going for meatiest entry, not nice attempt, uh, deserve, I wanted to give it a nod for just going, yeah, what if the shirt's just all bacon? <sniffs> Nicely done, <laughs> lazy fish. And for the winner in this category, uh, absolutely meaty design, uh, absolute metal design, uh, great stuff. This goes to cute moon god for the Creme cremeter cremeter uh however whatever the the most epic way to pronounce that is pleasure to grill uh riff on a band t-shirt uh fantastic image great composition uh exceptionally meaty and the winner of our meatiest entry this year congratulations cute moon god and then lastly, our last category, our subreddit's choice. I wanted to I wanted to thank, by the way, uh, folks on the subreddit and you viewers at home after I asked everyone to go over and vote. There were just like a huge uh number of votes. It's it's usually it's very difficult to get people to come over and actually vote on entries in the thread. And uh, that was not a problem this year, and it totally switched up the uh, the order of everything, um, especially after I had enabled contest mode. Whoops. So, uh, but yeah, so let's take a look at what we've got in uh, third place, which you've already seen here, uh, is our Sosage, Sosage shirt. So congrats on uh, runners up for a subreddit's choice to Lazy Fish. In second place, the Waffle of Oz <laughs> gives us the I won the Meat Miss 2022 contest. And all I got was this stupid shirt, which thanks to the sheer spite of Redditors is no longer an accurate shirt. Close though. Close.
And then the winner of the subreddit's choice for our SoSig t-shirt design contest is, of course, from the red hoodie FBI frozen buns inspector. Appropriate, appropriate, and absolutely belongs in the game. I, I, I kind of want to actually, I, I love in this illustration that it's like, instead of being the typical SOSIG, like one, two, three, four, a shirt is, uh, is, is like a, a fourth of the total height. It's sort of like an oversized, like the SOSIG has, has taken it from their like, you know, college partner. And it's like a super oversized, uh, uh, a t-shirt so it, it looks fantastic and that's going to be fun to get into the game if you have a it, it, this looks like it was just illustrated already warped so uh if you want to send me a flat version it'll make it easier to put into the game if you're busy uh i'm sure we can reconstruct it uh into flat uv space to put onto a sosig so so yeah let's give a round of applause for all of our uh for all of our wieners uh in this contest and i just want to once again thank you all for participating it was super fun to see everyone's uh designs we had i think uh 27 entries in all this year uh which was wonderful and uh i love doing this stuff it is it's such a treat we'll get these into the game sometime and i'm, I'm actually going to get them in like the first quarter of this year, usually it's one of those like I do the contest and like by the time it's fully resolved, it's like almost the beginning of the next year, actually. And this year, actually going to get things in quickly Um, because I'm feeling very motivated. This past week was a little a little rough. Any of you who follow me on Twitter know that I, I, I got myself a COVID, uh, COVID uh, bivalent booster and like that, plus some other health issues that I'm I'm already dealing, sort of rammed into each other at full speed, and the the fever definitely wrecked me. But I'm on the mend and feeling good, and fixing guns, and uh, in the hopes of of getting through fixing guns, so we can get on to getting some more in and starting starting the AR refresh, which I'm super excited about uh for this year so well that's it so I, I won't ramble any longer as i said to the contest uh wieners make sure that uh you have sent me the uh you can just send it to me uh in uh discord pm just the highest res version of uh the image that you have um preferably in a layered format if you authored it in a layered format and if not <laughs> whoops we'll just we'll just deal with it from there and uh thank you again and uh yeah I will see you fall there. There's a, uh, there's an update tonight, obviously patch going out with weapon fixes. There'll be more, uh, next week. Uh, I don't know if I'm going, I'm, I'm either going to do one more patch or I'm going to start update one Oh seven, which will be a small release. There's some stuff that I need to fix that, as I said, is a little more dangerous in that I want to make sure that when I'm doing that code change, a bunch of mod API stuff doesn't break. So I want to make sure I'm not stepping on people's toes and wasting their time and invalidating mods by surprise. So uh, there was stuff that I didn't do this week that I pushed off for later so I can do it a little more carefully and actually have a week to have people test things before I push it to main. Because um, I don't want to do a big long release cycle thing, but I also don't want to just like, you know, stomp over and break things. So it's a balancing act. But so there are certain fixes that will wait till 107 because that'll be like one alpha release and then a main and the stuff that I can just get done fast. I'm just going to get out as a patch and get it done with. So about got ended up getting like about 25 of the things on my to do list uh, into this patch and hopefully we'll get, you know, 25 more in uh, in the next one. So hope you folks all have a wonderful weekend and uh thanks for soldiering along with me as i uh, you know run around with duct tape uh fixing things and uh hopefully we'll get into some exciting new content soon so see you later peace